Hello. Um, I didn't realize I started the video. Hello. Um, my name is Jocelyn Bade. I'm 25 years old, and I am a trans woman from the Bay Area. And um, I would like to talk about facial feminization surgery. Now, here's my thing. Here's there's so many, so many details we need to talk about. Right. Um, uh, for starters, uh, let's just say I, I have a surgery date in five days. I'm supposed to get FFS on Tuesday, um, April, I think it's 11th. And I think for a lot of people, this is a very exciting thing. Many people are very excited to watch me change my face, which I think is a little shady um, that you want me to look so different so fast. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I think uh, what I'm having a huge issue with is the fact that I feel like I feel like I'm really consumed by like the nuance. Hold on, it's so hot. In here. Okay, I feel like I'm really consumed by like the nuance of the nuance of this. Um, Sorry, I know I'm joking a lot. This has been a very serious thing. My stomach hurts thinking about FFS. But yeah, like, I think that there's just like, I think being trans is a very complicated, like, um, thing to grapple, especially for me, because I, I think I've spent a lot of time being in a lot of spaces and being sort of like that, like, um, martyr of uh, trans visibility. Um, because I my, my face does not pass. Um, and, you know, I've always kind of, like, championed that and used that to my advantage, and I've been able to, like, release music, and I've been able to model, and I've been able to, like, I, I'm in a very great relationship with somebody, and I'm, uh, like, I have, I have a job, and I live on my own, and, like, people respect me, and, like, I feel like I have all of the things that people wouldn't expect somebody um, like me to have in my position as a trans person. And so it feels weird to go into FFS because it, I guess for some people they could see it as like, um, for some people they can see it as like, oh, you did all of the stuff, now you can do things that you want to do, which is kind of what, it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> I still feel like there's so much shit I need to get done. And I should be more proud of myself, but, uh, yeah, I just feel like this timing of this surgery could not be worse <laughs> with how much money I owe, uh, in, uh, in certain things. And I just am over it. I hate everybody's opinion of my face. I hate that people think I should keep some things and get rid of other things. Um, people thinking that I need to keep my face because we don't have enough non-binary representation, which here's the thing. My face and my body has nothing to do with my gender. And to be very clear, I am a trans woman and I'm non-binary, so I get the confusion. But I'm like 90% a woman, 10% non-binary at this juncture in my life. And that isn't me saying that being non-binary is a phase. Or I'm not saying by any means that non-binary people um, are a phase because that's not the case whatsoever. Um, but I just wanna make it very clear. And my boyfriend pointed this out to me that like, why can't you be a feminine person that's also non-binary? Like, why do you have to exist in this, like, androgynous space based off of your, um, what you were assigned at birth? And, um, that really tripped me up. That really fucked me up. Because I was like, whoa, hold on a second. Um, but yeah, that, it's just been, like, it's just been really difficult to understand and, like, grapple and like feel comfortable going into this FFS surgery like every single person's like post the GoFundMe fucking 
talk to everybody about it, make the money that you need to, we're so excited for you, you're gonna look so great, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's not the feelings you have, at least for me, going into this. And I feel like everybody has this like, everybody's just like, they glamorize this like, super like, this, this super surgery that you get. Because facial feminization surgery, if you don't know, I know I usually explain what it is before I get into it, but if you don't know, facial feminization surgery is multiple, it can be multiple surgeries um, across the face that um, help feminize your bone structure. And you can get a lot of different things done. You can get your hairline done, your brow bone, your nose, your cheekbones, your um, your tracheal, which is your Adam's apple, your jawline, you can get your lip lifted. Like there's so many, you can get your eyes, you, like there's so many things you can get done, right? Um, and luckily for me, uh, that was something where I had, I had an idea of what I wanted to get done. And I'll just be really transparent. I wanted to get my hairline done because that's one of the one things, and please don't talk about my body in the comments. Uh, I, I hate that I can't bring something up without every single stranger on the internet being like, well, I don't even care that you have this feature. I think it looks great, but like, I don't even want to hear that. I just want to have a conversation. Can you tell I'm like riled up about this? Uh, basically, I wanted to get my hairline done, but FFS um, with Kaiser specifically only covers um, hair lowering, not hair restoration, which are two very different things. And in my opinion, I do not like the look of hair lowering. I prefer hair restoration. And so I was like, you know what? I just won't get that done. Um, but that's mainly why I got the, um, I got the surgery date in the first place because I really wanted to get the hairline done, which I know is like my issue. But um, I kept the date because I was like, well, maybe there's other things I want to get done. And when I tell you that every single day I've had a different feeling about my face since I've had the surgery like date put in my schedule, it's been fucking hell, honestly. It makes me not want to get the surgery at all. It makes me feel like I should just, it would just be, it would frankly be easier to just not get the surgery, work more, make some more money, pay off all of my bills, right? Keep my face, keep my life that's already doing well. But the way my bone structure affects my life every single day is shitty. Like the way that I am masculinized every single day, the, the shit people say about my face, uh, the way people just assume that I'm a man is like, it's fucking horrendous, frankly. And I am the type of person, like, I come from sort of the space of where I, a little bit of a hater when it comes to surgery. Like, I grew up a lot with the rhetoric of like, you're perfect the way you are, and if you change things, you're only gonna wanna change more things. And I came from like that space of, well, this is who I authentically am, and this is like, and so I still hold a lot of that. I still believe a lot of, you know, that, that who I am is special, and that the person that I am, the person I bring forth is special, but like, I think what I deal with day to day as a, as a trans woman, whom, to whom nobody thinks is a woman. Even though I've been on estrogen, which here's the thing, I know that I haven't really talked about it and I'll have a different video about like HRT specifically, but I've been on estrogen for about five months and progesterone, spirolactam, blah, 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 all that shit. And like, although that's, although that's brought me a lot of, you know, solace, and it's helped me a lot to um, bring out my womanhood, right? Now that I have very small breasts. Uh, it one, doesn't seem like it's enough. And two, I feel like if I wear a baggy t-shirt, everyone still just presumes and I still presume myself as male and that sucks. It really sucks. And so, you know, I have this surgery that's coming out, the surgery that I already have a date for, and I'm facing even more, I would say, dysphoria um, from other people now more than ever. 
So now I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Um, and I think I'm not excited. I am terrified. Um, even though it's something I want and it's something that I know that I think I'm going to get, I just don't think this was the timeline that I wanted. It wasn't the, um, it wasn't the reasoning I wanted. It wasn't the, it, it doesn't align really well with like me as a person. Like I'm putting myself in very uncomfortable situations to make this happen. And I feel like I don't have a choice, frankly. And I know I do, I know I can cancel this, but like I'm 25, I turn 26 and I'm gonna have insurance in the future. I don't wanna, you know what I mean? And I just, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear cis people in the comments saying like, well, you don't need to change anything, blah, blah, blah. You live every single day in a body that is affirmed by your government, by society, by your country. If you live in America, you get, you are affirmed every single day. You do not think about the things that I think about. We are not on the same level when it comes to that. So please do not talk to me about you're perfect the way you are because you have no idea the shit that people say to me and how they treat me. My family, my friends, my employers. So yeah, that's kind of my rant on FFS. Um, that being said, my GoFundMe's in the link in my bio. No, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna fucking... I, I'm just, I feel like shit. I feel like shit. And that's all I really have to say. Um, and I feel like my hands are tied behind my back and I don't have a choice, so. Anyway. Yeah. If you are trans and you are going through this, I'm just sorry. You know, I don't have anything to say about like what to do for you. Um, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have to deal with all this shit. It's so annoying. It's so annoying! Uh, by the way, I have an album that came out. <laughs> I have an album that came out called Friend. It's on all streaming platforms. It's been, it's about, it's a song, it's songs that I've written, uh, for the past three years. And, um, they're very transgender and very fun. A little angry like me. And so, yeah. Uh, hope you have a great day. Um, love you. Bye.